Hello, welcome. Welcome back if you're a current subscriber. Welcome if you're new. So I have a large Scentsy haul to share. Yeah. So I do have the current catalog here so I can go over scent notes. I honestly spaced out what I actually ordered. I ordered this probably a week into the new catalog. I wasn't overly excited and I was waiting for the Harry Potter bars to come out. So let's start out with the the least exciting but I think these are kind of exciting actually because they are the 25 watt pink bulbs so I use a lot of colored bulbs with my 25 watts so I wanted to try these first of all and just see because I really like the purple but I wanted to try those because they're pink right then I got some bars we'll do warmers at the end because I did get three new warmers and one that was on in the clearance because it's still there and it's a great deal which is well there's actually a lot of great warmers including that one that are in the clearance that are still available okay so we've got pods and wax in this of course so let's start with the scentsy pods okay so I did a three pack. I got Summer Berry Melon. Now this was a spring brick last year. I absolutely love this scent. I know a lot of people did not. I, well, I don't know. I'm not going to say that because I do think this was a popular brick. I think it's amazing. I had it in my club. I took it out, obviously, the scent because when I saw it coming back, I was so excited. So this one is uh, Cassaba Melon, Strawberry Raspberry Pineapple. I love love the scent um i don't i think oh i did order a bar of this so i absolutely love that and then i ordered some bars in this one too you guys this is from the easter collection easter collection yes this is still available in pods wax i don't know what else. i think it's just those two but this is strawberry bliss it's strawberry champagne I, what um is there like a puree in this or something but I love this bar, so when I saw that there was pods and, and I was going to get the other one, I was like, I want to get this before it sells out. Because it's limited time offer, I wanted to make sure at least I, I was going to do a three-pack, and I thought, no, I want to grab one of Summer Berry Melon. So I did grab some Disney bars, which, again, like totally makes me crazy that they're so much more expensive. They're $7 a bar instead of the 6 Or if you bundle and save... The other bars we only spend five dollars but these are still not cheap even when you bundle and save them in my opinion i don't think they're generally worth it you're basically paying for a picture and you know you're gonna throw it away but okay i just want to grab the scent notes for angel 624 i had one bar of this left so i did want to grab two since i was ordering this is goji berry blackberry sweet vanilla cream and sugar cane i think it's a good berry i do get a little bit of I still smell like a cotton candy, but I, some people don't get that. I think it's very, I do. So pretty. It's a great performer. I love this in my bedroom. And then I had two of Stitch, so I wanted to get one of this. So this one is Valencia Orange Pineapple Nectar Sugar Cane and Sea Salt Mist. I think this is a great scent. Both of these were in my club. Oh, I love this so much. Both of these were in my club, and then when I saw they're going to be in the catalog, I was like, yes, please. All right. I'm pretty nervous about this one. I don't have the scent notes for This is Scentsy's um, Absolutely Perfect, The Aristocrats. Uh, I've heard it. I don't know. Some people say they love it, and it's a good performer, and then I've heard other people say it's not a good performer. Oh, this is interesting. I don't have the scent notes. Is this... Tell me it's a, I'm assuming it's a floral. Is there like a powder note in this? A baby, it almost like gives me a little bit of a baby powder. I don't think it's very strong at all. Mmm. It's pretty though from like smelling it between like trying to suck the scent in here. Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to warm this. I'm going to try this in my bedroom today. If I have, if I get it warmed and have an opinion, I'll insert a little video in this here. If I get it warm before I post this video. Hmm. There goes the UPS truck. 
I don't mind it. I just, I, I want to see what it does when I warm it. So my daughter, my oldest daughter loved this movie. I didn't get the warmer because she's not into warming wax. Um, but I would have if she would have been interested in it. I, she used to watch that movie so much. So I did decide to put this in absolutely perfect aristocrats. So it's been going now for about four hours. I put two in this Accord warmer. It's pretty, it's the cherry blossoms, but it's not bad. It's, I would say a medium performer in my bedroom, but it's just not anything that I love at this point. Um, and for $7 a bar, I just really have to love it. It's pretty, but it's just not, I don't know, it's just not anything exceptional, but I did, it's an okay performer in, in my bedroom again. Um, but I do get a little powdery note, I do get a floral, but it's not a love at this point for me, but I love the graphic on this. Another movie that she watched a lot of um, was Dalmatian, 101 Dalmatian. This is Top Dog. This is Apple Blossom Pear, maybe. I don't remember. I warmed this, and I actually really enjoyed this. I It's a great performer. It's so pretty warm. This one is going away at the end of March, so if you want to stock up, definitely highly recommend trying that one I know I complain about the price but you know there are some that I do enjoy it just sensey makes it hard when they the price sucks right okay let's get into the rest of the bars I got so two of these um, six packs are a friend of mine two of sipping poolside she really liked these I brought her all of my bars and um I also left her the scratch and sniff and she sent me a text and she's like, when you order, can you grab these? So I'll message her today to let her know that these are here. So sipping poolside is fresh pear sparkling citrus aquatic accord. This is really pretty. If you like aquatic scent, I really like this as well. It's in the catalog, so I will get some more at some point. Very vanilla was another one she wanted. Creamy vanilla and tonka bean. I love this too. I have... Vanilla cream is it in my club. I like that one better. That's pretty light. I'm hoping it gets a little bit stronger. Okay, I did order the new uh, Disney. Well, you know how they have the scents that they do at the Disney Gardens? I did, I believe, order all of those. So I'm just going to set those aside here. Oh, I did not like this one, but she really did. This is Wild Cherry and Sakura. It's Wild Cherry, Sakura Blossom, Pink Jasmine. Yeah, I didn't like this. Nope. She loves it. She usually loves the opposite scents that I do. So it's always fun when she goes my, through my wax for sale and she'll always pick the ones that I don't love. <laughs> pink sandalwood is hers. This is pink berry fresh cherry tonka bean sandalwood. I don't mind this one, but I, it's still not a love of mine. We have two in Sun Castles, which is Sunny Coconut Tropical Pistachio Sweet Almond. I really enjoyed this one. Oh, I love this. So I got one for me and one is hers. She ordered Blueberry Cheesecake, which I do not enjoy their cheesecake scent at all. No. That's hers. And then she ordered Sun Kissed Citrus. I know my son loves this scent. It's fine. I just don't love citrus. And then the last one that she snagged, which I got one of as well this is the scent of the month for is this this is coming out this is april's it's no sorry i lied this is march's scent of the month i'm sorry cotton candy tails now this is the first time i'm smelling this i know i've heard a lot of people say they don't like scentsy's caramel is it because there's caramel vanilla and something else in here and scentsy does caramel sometimes it smells very burned this smells like Scentsy's, like, was it spun sugar? I don't mind it, actually. So I actually don't mind that one. So we already went over Summer Berry Melon in the pods. Oh, I'm so excited that came back. I just I can't even tell you how excited I am. I keep going back and forth on the scent. It's Evening Sky. So it's Soft Bergamot, Madagascar Vanilla, and Midnight Lily because... I like some of, I like this warm but it's so light but it is very very pretty I still swear it smells like you're standing next to a good smelling man outside I really like this though I warm this again 
and I was like, okay, I warmed it in my bedroom twice, I think, and I really enjoyed it. So I wanted to grab one more of that one. Again, I already told you how much I love Strawberry Bliss. I got three. I think this, honestly, I'm going to smell this compared to the strawberry one that we just had in our Bring Back My Bar. I really like this warmed. I really feel like you need to warm this to thoroughly enjoy this one. I thought on cold I didn't. I warmed it and I was so obsessed with the puree in this. I think this is fantastic. Put, I already put this in my club for safekeeping because I don't want to forget. Okay, I grabbed some scent circles dashing. For my, my oldest son has a car. My son that's 16, almost 17, is going to get his car tonight. So I wanted to grab a few scents that maybe the boys would want to put in their car. So I got one of Dashing, one of Evening Sky by the sea in case they wanted that. And then Summer Berry Melon is for me. Um, they enjoy those car bars for their cars. I think because they're not so used to scents like we are that those are are strong for them when I get in their car I really can smell them so I do think that does make a difference just my boys have said they have enjoyed their scent circles okay so first up I don't have the scent notes but I do have one of heirloom rose because uh -huh. oh this is lovely <laughs> I have really started to like florals in the last like six months I have simply rose that I I shared in my melting basket that I mixed with was it the summertime one that smells like lemonade? I mixed the flower shop and then a rose together. But oh my gosh, this is beautiful. This is, I think, the best rose scent I've smelled. Wow. I would, I mean, I think I would put this in my club. I really have enjoyed floral scentsy. To me personally, doesn't do a lot of florals that I enjoy. And that is just truly a pure sophisticated rose wow I love that hibiscus sunset I, again I don't have the notes so I heard somebody say this smells like berry fairy tale and I was like I'm going to order this then I really like this is there pineapple in this one I really really I think this is a new one you guys this is beautiful oh my god Wow, I absolutely love Hibiscus Sunset. Okay, so the other new one I grabbed two of because you guys, I love, this is the one that's broken. I love grapefruit scents. Now, the grapefruit scent that was in, oh, we have so many collections. I don't know if it's in the Easter one or if it, I think it was the Easter one, right? The grapefruit and some peach and grapefruit, I think. I don't enjoy that. It's very harsh. I'm going to blend that with something else, maybe like a bakery. But I really, my favorite grape, grapefruit scent is um, Sassy Girl Aromas Easter Parade. So I actually do still have a little bit of that left, but I, because I can't get that right now, I was like, I want to try and see how they do a grapefruit, okay? So I'm, I really am the biggest grapefruit like I, when I was pregnant with my kids, I was obsessed with lemonade and ruby red grapefruit and it had to be the ocean spray. This isn't obviously that. I wish it was, but boy, this is a beautiful grapefruit. This really smells like you're cutting into a grapefruit. It's very tart. It's very crisp and citrus. I really kind of like this. I'm going to warm this. This is really pretty. I'm glad I got two because this really does smell like a fresh grapefruit. I wish... Gosh, I would love to have more of like a true, like I said, ruby red drink, but that's okay. So this one is broke too. Now again, they, this didn't have any padding. It was packed and completely full, the small box inside the box. But I wish sometimes Sensi would be careful because I would not want to, I just think this is embarrassing if I was going to sell this to a customer. That's just me personally, and it's cracked right here. This one is Garden Fresh Gardenia. Oh, this is pretty too. Wow. Okay, I'm newer into floral, so I I did watch some reviews on this, but I did not watch them on the Harry Potter one because I was like, absolutely not. I don't want to be biased. But because I'm newer into floral, I w did watch a lot of people's videos on this because I just was like, I want to just see what they think and should I order one or should I get them all? And I ordered all of them. Now, I think... This is new too. Maybe there was only the two, the soft plumeria and the mint fields that were returning. Maybe this one's new too. I don't know. This is really pretty. I'm going to tell you that, um, 
Or was Glorious Grapefruit not from that? No, I thought that was. I'm going to tell you that right now my two favorite are Hibiscus Sunset and Heirloom Rose. Like, I really, I like this way better than the Simply Rose. This really does smell like an amazing rose. Um, I'm not sure of this gard gardenia. I know my husband likes florals too, so I think I'm going to put that in his bathroom today and see what he thinks. Okay, I know for sure these two are returning. It's Soft Plumeria and Mint Fields. Mint Fields was in my club. I took it out when I saw that it was coming back. This is like I was in my garden and I went and took a bite of my mint. This is exactly what this smells like. I just wonder what do you guys blend this with? Because to me, this is just so very fresh. I, I feel like I could put this in and maybe mix it with something. I just don't know if I would. I had some of this left. I went downstairs and found when I, I spaced out. I looked at my spreadsheet and I was like, I do have a half a bar left, but I couldn't find it. Well, I did find it. But I had already ordered this. But again, what do you mix this one? Because I do think it's very pretty. I just don't know if I'm going to love that putting that like in my open concept or bedroom. I think I, it would be better mixed with something. Soft Plumeria, again, is new to me. This smells like Bath and Body Works Plumeria. Wow, this is like throwing back memories. I used to work in um, like... Right before I graduated, I worked at Bath and Body, and then like my first year of college, I did. Isn't that the scent, Plumeria? I think I have lotion over there. This is very pretty, but literally brings me back to that time in my life, and I loved working at Bath and Body then. Oh my gosh, like I, my family loved when I worked there because I got the best Christmas presents. I really like this, but again, I'm I'm going to tell you that my two favorite from this, if you. I know that a lot of you are shocked that I like floral. I don't, maybe it's my age. Maybe it's just getting, you know, you start enjoying more sophisticated scents and enjoying the complexity of some of these. But if you like a fruity, I think you would really like hibiscus sunset. I don't know what the scent notes are. There's, I think there is a floral element in this, but I do smell a lot of fruit. This is beautiful, and it reminds me of something I've smelled before. I don't know because I don't think I've smelled that berry fairy tale, but I could have. And this rose, if you love floral, this is gorgeous. Like, I love my peony scents that I have, but this, I really enjoy this. Could this be headache-inducing? I don't feel like this is headache-inducing as some of the other, like the Simply Rose that I have from Scentsy is very much a strong one. Like I, you could use a half a cube to scent my whole studio. It's so strong, but this is very beautiful. Okay, so there's that. Now let's get in. That was long. I'm sorry, but thank you guys. I love smelling through wax. So this is the next thing I got. I'm going to do a separate video as well. So you're going to see this, and then I'm going to also clip and splice together a video so that it's I'm only going to share this in a video that's like a couple minutes because in case people are just looking for this bar or this bundle and then I have three full-size warmers and a mini warmer in there three uh, three of them are new okay so this is Honey Duke's Scentsy Collection Harry Potter I have never seen the Harry Potter movies I've never read the books but we're going to get into this so let's smell through these bars okay so there's four bars in this collection Lifting this up, it's just, you know, Sensi, I I guess what movie is this from? You guys will have to tell me, which I know there's multiple Harry Potter movies. Is this The Wizarding World? Is that an actual movie? I don't know. The the um, warmer that looked like a book was very cool. I wish Sensi would just do a book like that because I would buy that totally. But I know I've seen some videos of people who got the warmer and it's very beautiful. Um, so you open this up and it's all for show. So they actually did put the scent notes on here. The Mother's Day collection I did not buy. I heard so many people say that it was light and I have not heard, I don't know that I've heard one good review on those bars. I'm not going to buy them if that's the case. But I wanted to get this because there's bakery in here and there's another scent that really intrigued me. So if we twist this, I believe it should give us the bars maybe, right? And I have to say that... The packaging in this is so stinking cute. Let me also say that if you are one to do Scentsy Club, I highly recommend if you like these 
or you get them, get them and put them in your club because a lot of times when Scentsy does collections, they don't always bring them back. And this is, the labels on these are gorgeous. Okay, so I'm gonna start backwards because the bakery on this part is last, but we're gonna start with Sherbert Lemon. This is Candied Lemon Lime Orange Sparkling Sugar. Does this sound like every other Scentsy scent that they do that's lemon and citrus? Yes. Does it smell like a lot of other Scentsy lemons? Yep. Ooh, this one comes across as very much a cleaner to me. Wow. Ooh. But I think it'll melt better because it has that sponge or sparkling sugar in it. So I think it'll come across a little bit smoother as it warms. But it's very, on the bottom, it's very cleaner. But I do smell that spark, the sugar scent on the top. If you like lemon, oh, this is very strong. I think you'll very much enjoy this one. I It is definitely a strong one. Okay, I'm going to try to show you the label here. I'm going to hold it still, and hopefully the darn camera will pick it up because I think this is so pretty. That is just the cutest label, though. I love that. I'm going to warm that and see because do I think that would be great on a very hot summer day? I totally think it would be. Okay, so let's do... This is so cute, too. Fizzing... Wisbees? I don't understand that, but okay. Why well, can't scent, see put the scent notes on these? Okay, this one intrigued me, you guys. I'm gonna be honest, this one did. Chocolate dipped cherries, apple, melon, sugared coconuts. Okay, I can get behind the chocolate dipped strawberries, but tell me why apple, melon, sugar, coconut are in here. I don't know. Hmm, interesting. I don't hate it so far. Let's see if I can get it out. I definitely smell the dipped or the chocolate dipped strawberries. I do smell some coconut. And it's not a bad coconut. This is very interesting. I don't smell apple and I don't smell melon. I really smell like a chocolate dipped strawberry. It's very pretty. I love the pink color. Okay, so far, I, this is okay. It's a little different, but I'm intrigued, okay? Next up, we have exploding bonbon, bonbons. Okay, this is, I don't, I don't like orange, so, oh, darn, okay. This one is juicy orange, candied pineapple, white chocolate, sweet vanilla. If you like orange, you're really going to like this. This is really pretty. This is actually a pretty orange. Wow. Okay, so orange, candied pineapple. I can smell pineapple. I don't I don't think I smell white chocolate in this. No, I can smell orange and and pineapple. I don't know about vanilla, sorry. I don't really pick that up. I, I think you have to like pineapple, though, because I can definitely smell the pineapple in this. Yep, okay. I don't love this one. Uh, Cauldron Cakes is last up. This is Cinnamon Sugar Spiced Vanilla Cake Vanilla Bean. Sensi doesn't do a lot of bakery, and sometimes they don't do bakery well. So this is just, like, I'm super nervous to smell this because I'm worried this going to suck, to be honest. Hmm, this smells like something else. I don't, something else I've smelled before. Like a creamer? Hmm, what does this smell like? Cinnamon sugar, spiced vanilla cake, vanilla bean. Oh, it smells like something. Hmm. It really smells like a, a cream, like a... What is this reminding me of? I don't know. It really reminds me of like a creamer, a milk, like a creamy cream. If I can speak like a creamer. It says cinnamon sugar spiced vanilla cake. It really reminds me of like a creamer that I have. Okay, well, I'll warm it. It's very odd that it's like an orange color for a bakery. Um, I, I don't know. Yeah, honestly, that's all I'm smelling is a creamer that I've had in the winter, and I froth it, and that's what I smell is, like, that kind of a creamer that I have. And it's a cinnamon, like, sugar creamer. 
I don't know about the cake scent. I'm not smelling a lot of that. I honestly, so if you guys have smelled this or warmed it, let me know. I will definitely warm this and see what I think. I'm sorry. I'm not overly impressed with that collection. I, that just, I honestly am more, I, I liked the, the two bars, the Hibiscus Sunset and the Heirloom Rose from the, um, Blooming Collection, the Disney one. Um, that since he has out right now versus this one I just I don't know yeah I, I would say honestly right now I think the fizzing fizzing Wisbees is my favorite and then the cauldron cakes uh and then the sherbet lemon and lastly um see why it is so look at the label exploding bonbons but in the middle it says it's a real boom okay but i don't like orange but if i if you like orange i think my kids will love that they really do like orange or citrus scents like that um sherbert land like i said this i think it's gonna warm better with that sugar in it but boy it reminds me just it's super strong and i get a lot of lemon cleaner in that so these two i'm intrigued by the whizzing whizbees and the cauldron cakes so now we're done with Harry Potter parts, okay? Now let's get into the warmers I got. I got one new mini warmer. This is Fish in the Sea. So these are all for me. I'm kind of chatty in this video, and this, like I said, this is my first order from the catalog. I will light this up and insert a video so you can see what it looks up, what it looks like lit up. I, today my sister had um, chemo and usually every week we've been trying to get together and for coffee or whatnot and with my work, I wasn't able with my work schedule like every day. I worked Monday, Tuesday, slept yesterday and then I was on call yesterday. I'm on call today and I'm on call tomorrow. So I, we're, I told her with as much call that we have right now with the big hospital closing that I will message her the night before and say, hey, like last night I messaged her at 11 o'clock. Hey, I haven't been called into work yet. I probably won't. Do you want to meet tomorrow? Or can I come to your chemo? Because sometimes she doesn't like when people come, but she said I could. So I said, oh, awesome. So she didn't message me until 8.30 and I think I got there a little bit after 9 and she was there till noon. So we hung out and walked out together. So anyway, this came and I'm a little chatty. Um, I was chatty hanging out with her I think every day is a gift right in this world and I um just enjoy every minute you can okay there's two in here that are ocean themed there was two in the catalog you're gonna see both of these I'm gonna tell you this is super super heavy I will plug it in in the wall and I will also put it on my tabletop and I'll show you that I don't know how this is gonna do in my outlets because I do have certain outlets are weaker than others I was really hoping to put this in my bedroom or my bathroom, my master bathroom. Um, <clears throat> so I'm tr looking to try to make that more coastal <clears throat> colored. This is gorgeous. Always the mosaics perform so well. I don't generally like glass, but any of these mosaics do beautifully. They heat super well. I think in the UK they have the full size. I'm really hoping Sensi gives us the full size because these are one of my favorite performing warmers or anything with the little grout in it, you guys. These are awesome performers. So this is gorgeous. Like I said, I will insert a video of that, okay? All right, then I'm going to show you the other one that is aquatic themed. And here we go. All right, this one is Sea Star. I have a whole... Oh, well, that just flew. I have a whole um, shelf out there that is like ocean theme with my lighthouse and all the different warmers. So that is where this one is going to go. So. This is a 25 watt. This is pretty in person yet again. 
It does have holes in the back, which I like because I like to see um, it illuminate on the wall. I just want to, no, hang on. I just want to cut this here, but. You guys, this is so <laughs> pretty in person yet again. I say that every darn time when you get a warmer, how pretty they are in person. So it goes from that brown to the blue ombre. There's a little like fault, like one of these looks off, like the paint is messed up. I don't care. Like I'm not gonna notice it, and from afar, I don't think you can. This is gorgeous, oh my gosh. So, I will, like I said, this is a 25 watt. I love this. It, it is glazed, and even on the top of the dish, there is the weave on there. Let's see if I can plug this in without breaking it. I don't know that, I don't, you, you can just see that it's got the holes in the back, but it is, like it, if you want one that isn't very bright, these are the best way to go. This is so pretty, oh my gosh. I don't know if you've noticed this in the background here. So my friend is, lives in Florida when my son passed away. We went down to visit them um, and their family and they literally went to the beach and picked these all out and made this for me. Um, you know, I always say that our big saying in our home is finding joy in the journey. Um, so she gave me that with this beautiful basket. It was so amazing and so kind. So I love that. Okay, so the last new warmer, of course, I had to get the Edged Hummingbird because I really love the, uh, is it the Aziza that we have? That's a great performer, and that one I think is only a 20 watt. I don't know what this one is, but this, again, that's, oh, this is very delicate. This one is just so pretty, and, oh, this is 25 was I saving up and waiting to order? Yes, I was. Like I hadn't, like I said, it, it today is the 28th of March. I haven't, this is my first order I placed. Like I, I haven't ordered and the catalog came out the first. So I really was making sure I had enough money and was waiting to see what my budget was. And, um, so I was like, okay, I, there's a few things I wanted. Like I said, I wanted to wait for that Harry Potter. When I looked at the schedule for the month, I was like, I'm not going to keep ordering. Sensi does releases every Monday, which is so infuriating because A, shipping is $10, right? I do not want to place a, a new order every Monday. I was going to order the Mother Day, Mother's Day bars, and I just was like, you know, those scents don't overly intrigue me. And then when I started seeing people saying they were so light, I was like, I'm not ordering them. So then I was trying to see when the Harry Potter one was coming out. And then I was like, I'm not ordering until that one came out. And that one came out, was it last Monday? Yeah, I think so. And so then I finally ordered. Okay, this is very, very delicate. This is an unfinished. Again, let me tell you a tip that I learned, okay? All right. So there, oh my gosh. You're going to be able to see the bulb in this. I wish Sensi would put an insert film in here. Um, so you you couldn't see that bulb but you're going to be able to see that so this one i'm going to put so wherever i'm looking at it, it's not right at my eye level i think i'm going to put this in my entryway so but if this was on my mantle this would probably drive me crazy because it's this is pretty bright so i'll let you know where i put it and um update you on that what i will say about these warmers is if you spill wax which i did in my honestly i think i like the aziza better it just goes better where I have it this is gorgeous it's very delicate because it's all the way around it these holes this is unfinished glaze so these are so hard to clean like I love the ones that are finished what I did find out though is I had spilled red wax on my Aziza and you can take these bottoms out the bases now what I did though um was take out the light bulb I'll sh I want to share this with you in case you have a wax accident ever with your warmer and um, especially one that like this that has all these holes in it, right? 
So what I did was I took my blow dryer and I took a paper towel and I literally set the paper towel right here and I blew dry it and then it dripped the wax on the paper towel and then I, I just kept doing that and eventually it was out. Now this one is unfinished glaze so just be really careful with this one um, because these are a little harder if they I've had issues where these have stained them now one of them I was able to get out with rubbing alcohol so this one I'm gonna put I don't even know if I'm gonna put it where I thought because I think if my kids hit this it's gonna break and if they hit, bump it at all and this gets wax on it I think it's gonna get ruined so I maybe I'll leave it do it in the video like maybe I'll change this out and put this here and I, I have the alabaster warmer up here, which is amazing and a great performer. So maybe I'll move things around. I was going to put this somewhere else, but I just feel like this is too delicate. And if it gets, has a wax in it, my kids hit my warmers way more than they should for their age. And so I just worry about that. And then with the dog's tails, you just never know what's going to happen. This is gorgeous. I will say I, out of the three new ones, this is beautiful. I wish this was full size, but I really love this. And that is so, so stunning. So I'm very excited about those. Do I think this is gorgeous? Yes. Do I love that the light is shining through this? No, I don't. I think that they should have put like a film in here that was safe because on my monsters warmer, they have one in the inside. That's a sheen. I feel like when they do like certain, like this one is pretty bright in person too. I feel like I wish they would sell that material that we can use to cut and put in here. That's the one thing I'm hesitant about. I just prefer those ones that have the softer glow or ones that have the light in the back. But this is beautiful. Don't get me wrong. Like it's going to be perfect for spring, summer. So, but if you want my honest opinion, these two are stunning. Okay. So the last thing I got in this long video. Sorry if I didn't share. This is the Marvel Scentsy Warmer. Now, this is still in clearance, I believe, for $11. This is for my son, you guys. Like, I just, I think he's going to be super excited. He's 10. He broke his other, he had that, oh, this is heavy. He had that wilderness, wow, this is, this is a very nice warmer, you guys. Whoa. He had the wilderness warmer that had, it was like an unfinished glaze with moose and stars on it and my other son has it too i i got him all a new warmer for christmas last year it was ten dollars it was just a fun part of their gift they all got one well my one son tripped on the cord he didn't have it in the right spot that i had put it he had moved it tripped on the cord and broke it in several places so he's got one of mine in there right now but i don't i have a place for the warmer he has and so I was like when I saw this on sale for $11 which is still there and we were just watching Thor last night there's Thor Wonder Woman uh, Captain America who I love I love Iron Man um, Hulk I love Thor <laughs> okay <You> guys this <laughs> is so cool he is going to just I'm actually gonna put this in his room on his Lego table his room is a mess but I'm actually gonna put this on his Lego table um, before he comes home so and see what he says you guys this is eleven dollars i guarantee you i have mul this is a 25 watt for one i have multiple warmers that use this like this format they are beast performers this is eleven dollars in clearance i will post my link in the description i am a sensei consultant if you haven't figured that out um this is definitely worth the price this is heavy duty um like i said any of my um warmers like this with the shade i have such great performance look at this 10 or 11 dollars, you guys this is stunning and i'll include a video of all of these once i find a place for them in this video but i'm actually going to go set this up i i have another one of these in my cart i think i'm going to order actually a couple this for a kid's like if my son goes to a birthday party this is a great gift or my nephew. I think I'm going to send my sister a picture and see if she thinks my nephew would like this or my nieces. Like this is cool for $11.
That's my haul. What do you think? I know. Yeah, it was a lot. Okay, I get it. But like I said, this is March 28th, and this is the first order that I've ordered, and I'm super excited for everything. I, there's a few things I'm going to go order more of from the um, Blooms Collection, I think is what they're calling it, with the Heirloom Rose. I love this Hibiscus Sunset. Oh, I'm going to warm this, I think, today. Um, I do want to grab more Strawberry Bliss from the Easter Collection before that one goes. I think that's a winner. I'm not sure 100% how I feel about Cotton Candy Tails. That's March's scent of the month. Um, I don't know. It's a little bit different. Super excited about this whole order. I'm very happy. I was so excited for this order to come. I was so excited to go hang out with my sister today. Um, yeah, I just had a great day. So um, it's Easter on Sunday. So if you celebrate um, and, you, you know, Easter, I want to say um, I hope you have a blessed uh Easter Sunday, my kids and I were discussing the meaning of Good Friday, which is tomorrow, and Easter Sunday and what all that means again, just because I think it's a great reminder and a refresher of why we're celebrating the um, Easter. We celebrate it for the death and resurrection of Christ, and um, I'm always going to share my faith with you because I haven't endured, you know, the loss of my son, my childhood, my sister watching her struggle, and she's so strong. I know that God gives us the strength that we need to overcome every situation. It doesn't mean that we have the strength every day or every moment of the day. It might mean that 80% of the day I have strength, but 20% I don't, and I rely on him for that. But if it wasn't for him... I honestly personally don't think that I would have been able to withstand the sadness in my heart because it was so hard losing my son and um, watching my sister has just really been challenging and so those things are really hard for me. So I just, I know without God I, I wouldn't be able to do things I do every day like the, some days are really hard. So um May God bless you and your family. May you feel his love, his peace, his strength. May you know the gift of his death for your sin. Um, yeah, I pray that truly over all of you. Um, you may not want to receive it and you may not, you may have a different belief and that's totally fine. I love all of you regardless of what you believe, but I do pray that you know Christ's love because it is, that's what helps me a lot of days. So anyway, I'm done. Holidays are tough for me. Anyway, with that being said, I hope you all have a wonderful, beautiful, blessed day. Bye.